Hey everybody, it's Rob from the Barbecue Pit Dog Channel. Hey, today I'm going to make some pulled chicken sandwiches on some garlic toast with some cheese. Melt everything on the pit barrel cooker and put some of my favorite seasoning and some of my favorite barbecue sauce on it. Just going to be a short little video, so sit back and hope it gives you some creative ideas and you can make your own pulled chicken sandwich. So, hang on. Here we go. All right, you're gonna be surprised how easy this is to do. Now I'm making me some pit barrel cooker chicken, but you take any kind of chicken you have, fried chicken, rotisserie chicken, anything. Here's how mine turned out. It's pretty easy to do. I'll show you why they call it pulled chicken. Cause you take a piece of chicken, you just start pulling the meat off. You can use the white meat, the dark meat, whatever you like the best or both. You can put the skin in there too if you like that. Hell, it's all good to me. You just wanna pull the chicken and throw it in there. You buy a rotisserie chicken at the store and you only use a piece of it, warm that bad boy back up, pull it. Then I'm here's what I did. I threw mine back on the pit barrel just to keep it warm. Look, I cheated. I bought some of that Texas toast with garlic and cheese on it already. Oh yeah. I threw it on the grill just to kind of warm it back up. Now I got it off. I only warmed it up about 10 minutes. I like to put cheesy side up on the bottom. I got the crunchy side down. Now I'm gonna put me a big old scoop on there. That's my pulled chicken. Since I'm a big boy, hell, I'm going to put another scoop on there. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. That looks good already. Now, I got some It's Incredible uh, Fajita seasoning. Oh, Lord have mercy. This is going to be good. I'll put some of that right there on my sandwich. And go ahead and put some more in here on my chicken. And then I've got what is probably my favorite barbecue sauce right here from the shed, Southern Sweet. Yep, I'm in the South. That's how we eat it. Nice and sweet. So I'm gonna put about one, two, three, four tablespoons on here. Glob it on there real good. You can put a lot more on there. Put whatever you like. Get your favorite barbecue sauce. You can put all kinds of things on there. Then I'm going to slap that top layer of uh, Texas Toast cheese side up. Well, that thing looks awesome, doesn't it? So now I got me a frosty mug. And I got me a cold red ale to go with it. Now let me tell you all something. This Smithwick's beer is pretty good. And also, I'm a bar patron, not a bartender. So I don't do very good at pouring beers especially in cold mugs. So, just wanted to let you know, don't learn from me, but pour yourself a cold one. Iced tea, a soda, whatever you want, a cold beer and have you a pulled chicken sandwich like this one. Put your favorite seasoning, your favorite sauce, and man, it's gonna be good. So I appreciate you guys watching the Barbecue Pit Dog channel. And make sure you get you some.